Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here to show you a quick tutorial for Cubase 5 for those who are just starting out with music and want to get good quality as quick as possible, you know, without knowing any knowledge of it. Um, first thing I just want to put out there, give your best performance. Um, to have the best song, you need three days. Day one, um, rehearse your song by re reading the lyrics, not rapping or singing it. Reading the lyrics, make, making sure every word means something and making sure every word is co correctly, you know, put in there. Um, day two, go ahead and, um, you know, memorize your song. Practice by recording it on the instrumental. Practice, practice, practice. Day three is we're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna record. Day three, you're gonna give it your best. You know, make sure everything is right and everything. You know, music is hard work. It's not easy. Put in work, get results. And to then, you need to practice. That's basically it. But these are the presets that I use. Insert for the vocals. We're going to have Denoiser. Denoiser is set at default. And we're going to hit X. The gate. We're going to use the gate next. And it's clean lead vocals. It's a preset. And that is it. X. The EQ, we're going to use GEQ10, and this is a custom preset. The first three are negative 12. The next four are all set at zero. Next is 2.5, 5.3, and 2.5. You're going to want to mess around with these depending on your vocals and how deep or how low your, vo um, your vocals are. Just mess around with it and get results. Next up, of course, is compressor. We're going to use lead vocals in your face. Only thing I've changed here is the ratio. It was set at 4. I have it at 3. Um, the lower the ratio is, the more in your face the, the vocals are. And since we're doing rap vocals, um, you know, you want the vocals to be in your face. The higher the, um, the ratio, the more your vocals are going to be sunk into the mix. So if your vocals are sunk into the mix and you want to bring them out, you know, lower the ratio. If it's the opposite, um, you know, go higher on the ratio and hit X. Next up is de -esser. To get rid of the S sounds, I have it set at default. Only thing here to do is click on auto threshold. And if you're male, male. Female, female. And we're going to hit X. Delimiter is next. I have it set at 5.2, but you can have it anywhere from 4 to 6. For this one, I'm using 5.2. The output at 0 and the release at auto. Next up is the delay. The delay I have is set at 625 delay, 10 feedback, 50 low, 15k high, and 6.0 mix. The delay is the only thing that you're going to want to change. So bring it up depending on the sound that you want or the song that you're doing, or bring it lower. You know, mess around with the delay. The mix is the actual volume of the effect. Bring it up if it's not noticeable as much as you want it to be. Bring it lower if it is as it's noticeable. And we're going to go ahead and click X. Next thing up is that we want to go ahead and turn down the instrumental a bit. Here I have a set negative 11 and the vocals at negative 6.48. If you ask why so low, it's because the mastering step or the quick mastering step, you don't want to go over, you know, negative 6 dB or negative 9. You know, you want more room for mastering. So we're going to go ahead and device and mixer. And this is my mixer. Right here for the mastering channel, we're going to go ahead and click edit the E right here. I'm going to go ahead and click this dynamics and multiband compressor. And these are my settings for multiband compressor. Negative 15, 1.1, 1.0, auto release. Next is negative 15, 1.1, 1, and auto release. Third one is negative 15, 1.9, 1.0, and auto release. And the last one is negative 15, 1.7, 1.0, and auto release, and hit X. We're going to go three down, click for spatula, and we're going to use stereo enhancer. For stereo enhancer, I've used the preset mastering light spread, and we're going to hit X. And the last is we're going to use maximizer. To use maximizer, you're going to want to go ahead and dynamics, maximizer, and this is what I use for maximizer. The output is at negative 0 0.3 and the optimized at 23.0. I'm going to go hit X and I'm going to listen to it for myself. I'm not sure if you'll be able to listen to it because I have it set on my speakers. 
If you do listen to it, it's probably going to sound shitty because it's coming from my speakers into my headset. So, let me hear it. Hello, American Eagle. She said she like my speed low. I told her be quiet. Just keep it on the beat low. She said she like my flow and not to put it on the radio. I'm on the beat low. Alright, all levels sound perfect, vocals sound clean, only thing this song is lacking is a little bit of performance, which is understandable since the artist is starting out. Um, obviously, um, best advice to this artist is practice, 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 you'll get better, trust me. Next tutorial, I will be showing step by step on what everything is that you need to do and what everything means on mixing. You know, for those who want to learn and... Learning is suggested. I suggest learning because when you learn what everything means and how to use it, you will get the best quality because you know how to mess around with it instead of using presets. And the tutorial after that, I'm going to be showing you mastering and what mastering means, how to use mastering, and why mastering is important. Until then, thank you for watching. Break, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys then.